Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can capture a screenshot on your brand new Wiko Ride 3. So the first one I'm gonna share with you is the more traditional way of capturing a screenshot. And that's gonna be by pressing the volume down button and the power button at exactly the same time. So let me go ahead and give you a demonstration. You're gonna press volume down, power button, press them both at the same time and hold for about a second and then you'll see a screenshot has been captured right there. You can get an option to share and edit that screenshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you one more time and I'll share with you some additional options you have available when it comes to editing the photo after you capture the screenshot. So again, volume down button, power button, press them both and hold for about a second. And once you do that, of course, the screenshot has been captured. Now go ahead and click on the image that was captured and then you get some additional options here for editing the photo. You can enhance it, make it a little bit warmer, make it a little bit cooler. You got some suggestions here. You can crop the photo, you can adjust it, add some filters and you can mark on the photo. If you want to highlight a specific area, you can change the color as well. You have a pen option. So you can go ahead and leave a message, um, a text. So you got some options here when it comes to taking a screenshot as you can see there so that is you know the first way of capturing a screenshot and the screenshot will be saved to your google photos all right so for the second way of capturing a screenshot this is actually pretty cool now in order to get the screenshot this way you have to have something open in the background what I mean by that is you have to be in like an application or you have to be in a website. I mean, you could even be in your messaging application, in your dialer, um, but you have to have something open in the background. And if you have something open in the background like I have here, you're gonna see an option to the bottom now that says screenshot. And this is pretty cool because all you gotta do is just click right there and the screenshot has been taken. And it works in any window that you have here. So say you're in this article right here and you wanna go ahead and share a specific you know, area of the article that you're reading, just open up right here, press this button, that opens up your apps that you have in the background, and then click on screenshot. And that's basically it. That's how you can capture a screenshot uh, the second way. So, and it'll work the same way if you're using gestures instead of the on-screen buttons. Uh, as long as you have something open in the background, you'll be able to take that screenshot. So as long as you have something open or you're in an app, all you gotta do is with gestures, just drag up and hold for a second, let go. And then you'll see the screenshot option right there. Click on it. And that's basically it. All your screenshots will be saved to your Google Photos. That's basically it for this quick tutorial. If you found this video helpful, informative, any way possible, please hit that thumbs up button. And please subscribe to the channel for more future videos just like this. This is Paul Tech, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.